Ever wondered why, despite overwhelming scientific evidence, there are still those who deny climate change? It's a question that baffles scientists and environmentalists alike. Yet, in the face of irrefutable data and the increasingly dire state of our planet, climate change denial persists, breeding a conspiracy theory of epic proportions. You see, climate change isn't just a theory, it's a reality we're all living through. Ice caps are shrinking, wildfires are becoming more frequent and devastating, and extreme weather events are on the rise. Our planet is sending us clear distress signals and the scientific community is virtually unanimous in their agreement. Climate change is here, it's real, and it's human-induced. Over 97% of climate scientists concur that the warming we're experiencing is not natural. It's a result of human activity, specifically the burning of fossil fuels which release carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat from the sun, causing the Earth's temperature to rise, a phenomenon known as global warming. This is not a matter of opinion, but a matter of fact, backed by rigorous scientific research and empirical evidence. Yet there exists a vocal minority who reject this consensus, insisting that climate change is a hoax, a fabrication by the scientific community, or even a global conspiracy for control and profit. These climate change deniers argue that the Earth's climate has always fluctuated over time, and that what we're seeing now is just part of a natural cycle. Some even go so far as to suggest that the apparent warming is due to errors in temperature measurement, or that the scientific community is in cahoots, manipulating data to suit their narrative. It's a perplexing phenomenon, this denial of something so critical, so urgent. But it's not without history, not without roots. So where did it all begin? Let's delve into the past. The denial of climate change didn't just appear out of thin air. Let's journey back to the 1980s and 1990s, a time when the world was just starting to grapple with the reality of global warming. Ironically, this was also the period when the seeds of climate change denial were being sown. So how did this come to be? Well, the roots of this denial run deep into the political and economic fabric of the time. The 1980s were marked by a wave of deregulation in the United States and other parts of the world. This was a time when the mantra of profit over everything else was the order of the day. The environment? Well, that seemed to be an afterthought. As the science of climate change began to solidify, it became clear that addressing this global crisis would require massive changes in the way we produce and consume energy. This was a direct threat to the fossil fuel industry, which held a significant sway over the global economy. The thought of losing their grip on power and profit led to a strategic response. Deny the problem exists. And so, the conspiracy was born. Aided by a network of think tanks and lobbyists, the fossil fuel industry set out to cast doubt on the science of climate change. Their tactics, they cherry-picked data, promoted pseudoscience, and recruited a handful of dissenting scientists to challenge the overwhelming consensus. The denial machine was also fueled by political interests. There were politicians who saw climate change as a threat to their ideologies of limited government and free markets. They feared that accepting the reality of climate change would lead to increased regulation and government control, things they vehemently opposed. So they joined the chorus of denial, adding their voice to the growing cacophony of doubt and misinformation. But let's be clear, this wasn't about a genuine scientific debate. This was a calculated campaign to sow doubt, delay action, and protect vested interests. The denial of climate change was, and still is, a conspiracy rooted in power, profit, and politics. But this was just the beginning. The denial theory evolved over time. As climate change became more evident, the denial theory adapted. This adaptation wasn't a seismic shift, but rather a subtle, gradual transition. Originally, the denial was straightforward, a flat-out refusal to acknowledge that the climate was changing at all. It was a period filled with stark claims that global warming was nothing more than a myth, a figment of the collective imagination. However, as the body of scientific evidence grew, the stances of the denialists began to evolve. The blatant disregard for climate change began to wane. 
replaced by a more nuanced form of denial. This new form was less about rejecting the existence of climate change and more about questioning its extent and impacts. These New Age denialists acknowledged that the Earth's climate was indeed changing. But they argued that these changes were part of the Earth's natural cycles, not a result of human activities. They questioned the severity of the impact, suggesting that the consequences were blown out of proportion. They cast doubt on the scientific consensus, suggesting that there was significant disagreement among the experts. This shift in the denial narrative was not a sudden transformation. It was a slow movement like the gradual warming of our planet. It was a change that was almost imperceptible at first but became more obvious over time. The denialists' arguments became more sophisticated, more complex. They started to incorporate elements of science into their claims, giving them a veneer of credibility. They used this perceived credibility to sow seeds of doubt, to convince the public that the scientific consensus on climate change was not as solid as it seemed. This evolution of climate change denial was not just a change in rhetoric. It was a strategic move, a calculated decision to make their claims more palatable, more acceptable to the public. And in doing so, they managed to muddy the waters of the climate change debate, casting a shadow of doubt where there should have been clarity. But how did these views spread so widely? The internet played a significant role in the spread of climate change denial. Now, let's delve into how this happened. The internet, a technological marvel, has transformed our lives in countless ways. But it has a darker side. It's a breeding ground for misinformation, with climate change denial being a prime example. The digital age has given rise to social media platforms, blogs, and websites that disseminate information at lightning speed. Everyone can share their views, no matter how uninformed or misguided, and find an audience. It's in these spaces that climate change denial has found a fertile ground to grow and spread. Social media has been particularly instrumental in this spread. With just a click, a climate change denial post can reach thousands, if not millions. The algorithms that drive these platforms often favor sensational and controversial content, pushing climate change denial posts into the feeds of many unsuspecting users blogs and websites have also played their part. These platforms offer a seemingly official platform for climate change deniers to share their theories, often disguised as scientific research. They use complex jargon and convoluted arguments designed to confuse and mislead readers into questioning the reality of climate change. And then there's the role of fake news. Fabricated stories about climate change, often dramatic and shocking, spread like wildfire across the internet. It's easy to get caught up in the sensationalism and forget to check the facts. These stories prey on people's fears and uncertainties, fueling climate change denial. This misinformation is not harmless. It creates a culture of doubt and confusion around climate change, hindering our ability to take decisive action. The spread of climate change denial on the internet has given it a global reach infecting societies far and wide. And the effects of this spread are seen in our societies today. It's in the skepticism we encounter in everyday conversations, the resistance to climate-friendly policies, and the hesitation to make the necessary changes to protect our planet. The spread of climate change denial is not just a digital phenomenon, it's a real-world crisis. Climate change denial has had a profound impact on our world. Imagine a game of chess where one player doesn't acknowledge the moves of the other. It's a stalemate, isn't it? That's what climate change denial has done to our world. It has created a stalemate in policymaking, a deadlock in public opinion, and a delay in action to mitigate the devastating effects of climate change. Policymaking is a delicate dance between science and politics. When a significant number of politicians deny the existence or severity of climate change, it becomes nearly impossible to pass meaningful legislation that addresses the issue. In many countries around the world, climate change is still seen as a debatable issue rather than a fact, making it an uphill battle for those who want to implement policies that could slow down or reverse the effects of climate change. In terms of public opinion, Climate change denial has sown seeds of doubt in the minds of many. 
These seeds have been nurtured by misleading information, often propagated by those with vested interests. This has led to a polarization of views, with some people refusing to believe in the severity of the issue while others are left feeling frustrated and powerless. And then there's the delay in action. The longer we argue about the existence of climate change, the less time we have to address it. This delay has very real consequences. It means that we are losing precious time to transition to renewable energy sources, to protect our most vulnerable communities, and to preserve our planet for future generations. In the end, the impact of climate change denial isn't just about the environment. It's about our ability to make informed decisions, to unite in the face of a common threat, and to safeguard our collective future. But what can we do about it? Countering climate change denial requires a multifaceted approach. Consider this. You're in a room full of people and you're trying to convince them all that the house is on fire. Some are skeptical, others outright deny it, despite the rising smoke and heat. This is the challenge we face when confronting climate change denial. But there are ways to tackle this. Firstly, education is key. We must make climate science accessible to everyone. This isn't about turning everyone into a climatologist, but rather, it's about ensuring people have a basic understanding of how our planet's climate system works. Think of it as learning the rules of a game. You don't need to be a professional footballer to understand the offside rule, do you? Similarly, you don't need to be a scientist to grasp the fundamentals of climate change. The more people understand about the climate, the less room there is for denial to take root. Next, we need to prioritize fact-checking. In this digital age, misinformation spreads quicker than wildfire. Just as we have fact-checkers for political statements, we need them for climate science too. A lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is still lacing up its boots. That's where fact-checkers come in, to ensure that the truth gets a head start. Lastly, accountability. We need to hold those spreading misinformation accountable. This isn't about silencing differing opinions, but rather, it's about ensuring that public discourse is based on facts, not fantasies. This might mean legal consequences for those who knowingly spread false information, or it could mean public pressure on media outlets to provide accurate coverage. It's about creating an environment where truth is valued over sensationalism. These three pillars, education, fact-checking, and accountability, are crucial in our fight against climate change denial. Yet, it's important to remember that this isn't a battle that can be won overnight. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We're making progress, yes, we're starting to turn the tide, absolutely. But the fight is far from over, far from. Climate change denial is a complex and persistent issue. As we journey through the murky waters of climate change denial, we've unearthed its roots, traced its evolution, charted its spread, felt its impact, and witnessed the counteraction. From the subtle whispers of its inception, it has grown into a cacophony that reverberates around the globe. Its origins are as intricate as the issue itself, entangled in a web of politics, economics, and social dynamics. The denial began as a seed of doubt planted by those who feared the implications of accepting the harsh realities of climate change. This seed sprouted into a full-blown tree of denial, nurtured by vested interests and the human tendency to resist inconvenient truths. Over time, climate change denial has evolved, adapting to the shifting landscape of scientific evidence and public opinion. It has morphed from outright denial to a more subtle form of skepticism, downplaying the severity of the issue or questioning the human role in it. The denial has spread far and wide, carried on the wings of social media and the voices of influential figures. The impact of climate change denial is profound. It impedes progress, stymies policy changes, and fosters complacency. It creates a chasm between scientific consensus and public perception, hindering our collective response to an existential threat. But amidst the fog of denial, glimmers of hope emerge. The counteraction against climate change denial is gaining momentum. Scientists, activists, and concerned citizens around the world are rallying to debunk misinformation, promote understanding, and advocate for action. 
They are the torchbearers in the darkness, lighting the path towards a more informed and sustainable future. In the end, the narrative of climate change denial is a reflection of our society's struggle with truth and reality. It underscores the power of information and the peril of ignorance. It challenges us to question, to learn, and to act. The truth, as always, is out there. It's up to us to find it, share it, and act on it.